good morning i am starting um uh, possibly a video series about um a move i'm getting ready to make um i have been at my current school since 2002 so i've been here a long time <laughs> and we are moving um i'm at a middle school and we are moving into um the district is moving the uh, middle school into an elementary school next year. So I will be moving into, uh, I'll be moving into a new classroom next year. Um, so <laughs> I've got about uh, 20 some odd years of stuff to pack up in here. Uh, some of the stuff is gonna go in the trash can. I've already started pulling some stuff down. My students have helped me um, pull some of the stuff down off the walls and things like that. And um, a couple nights ago, I said to myself, you will never be able to do a video series like this again. So I decided what I was going to do is make a video series of um, the process of packing up an art classroom that I've been in for a long time and I'm moving into a new building. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I have already packed up and what I got left to do. We got testing today. So, um, I am going to show you that. Then I'm going to um, end the video because I got to go get ready to get my testing material so um, I can test today. So, I will do that and I'll take you along this journey with me. All right, here we go. All right, um, currently <laughs> I've taken everything down off of these um bulletin boards except for the um except for the paper um that is um wrapping paper i started using wrapping paper instead of bulletin board paper a couple of years ago um this is um the way my walls used to look but i had a, a um a poster right there but the um vent leaked down on it and it was kind of stuck to the wall and I didn't want to pull it off because um, I would have messed the poster up. So um, I just left it right there and painted around it. So that's how the wall used to look. Um, this was, um, it doesn't didn't look anything like that. All of that was covered up. That was a wall for um, st um, standards and different techniques and things like that. I've got to take this down. Um, take all my posters off of that. Um, I'm in a mobile. Um, I've taken the curtains down. <laughs> um, that's the way the wall used to look. And the curtains were up. So I just, I didn't take the curtains down when I painted. <laughs> so that's the color the wall used to be um, before I painted it. There's a bookshelf over here. The students was doing um, print print making. Uh, I'm an art teacher, if I didn't already say that. The students were doing print making. They were getting ready to do some um, plaster cast hands. So I got some of those materials out. I don't know why my, all my ink is on this table. Because focus, girl, focus. Okay. So um, they took some of those posters down, but they are not supposed to be on the floor. So, I think I'll just move those. Now, these are some of my favorite ones, which should not be on the floor. Um, the paint was peeling. Um, this board right here had border around it. Um, this board had border around it. This board had border around it. I had some periods going all the way around the wall. The students have already taken that down. 
this is um, the border that was around the wall. This right here is what was on that wall over there. Um, this is some, uh, uh, on the window I got something from Amazon because I got tired of buying um, blinds because it kept tearing up. I guess because they were cheap, I don't know. But I got this window cling and I put the window cling on the windows and that um, prevented me from having to buy blinds. And it also would send rainbows through the classroom when um, it was kind of bright outside. So I kind of enjoyed that. Um, this is a smart board. It's kind of a mess. This is real life. Um, what else? Um... This is a drying rack. <sighs> Some textbooks. That's what they're getting ready to do. Plaster cast hands. So we in the middle of moving. Packing up as we are um, in the middle of packing up as we're still teaching. These things right here was over the tops of the classroom. I still got to empty all of these drawers. I have emptied some of them. I don't think anything is in these. So uh, some more oh, some more poster stuff is down there. Uh, this is some work the students did. And I need to be able to package this up so it won't get messed up in the move. I don't know. On top of all of that, I've got, this is a mess, y'all. I've got all of this, these books. I've got all of these books. I have packed up some stuff. I've got this packed. I got one, two, three bins packed in a box here. This is some more artwork um, that the students did, had in the hallway. I've taken that down. I've got all of these file cabinets. I've got to, I don't know if they're gonna move the file cabinets with stuff in them or not, but two of the file cabinets is my personal file cabinets. This one is uh, personal to me. My dad bought me that one my first year teaching. And that one over there, I purchased um, myself. Oh, Lord. So, my husband made me this area when COVID hit. But it was um, completely um, plexiglassed off from the rest of the classroom. So, because I'm a germaphobic and this room is giving me anxiety because everything is pulled out. But I'm trying to throw away things. And, huh. So this is two more things that I have filled up already. These two are already filled up. I have all of this that needs to be packed up. So that's where you just came from, my office area. This is one of the doors of my husband. My dad made me this to go in here. It's a lot of memories. My dad passed away in 2022. But anyway, um, I've got all of this to pack up. All of it. All of it. All of it to pack up. And I've got... All of this to pack up. This is my clay area. Glazes and things. We got to pack all of that up. Um, I had some stuff back in here yesterday. My students came back and helped me um, throw some old clay items away. So, and there's some stuff that we got left up there. Should we just kept a little bit of stuff. Um, clay cabinet. Um, shelves. We cleaned that off yesterday. Um, kept some 
some teacher exam not um student um examples up there. Uh, I gotta felting stuff. We gotta pack all of this up. This is a lot, a whole lot, a whole whole lot, whole 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 lot. These are things that I've already packed up. Two bins I've already packed up. Our district is supposed to be giving us um, boxes to pack, but it is um, May, <laughs> and I'm at yeah, it's May, and school is out in May, and we still don't have any boxes. And it might be kind of easy for maybe somebody that's not an art teacher, but I, I'm having like an anxiety attack with this. Um, all of this was filled up. I've cleaned that out pretty much with, uh, all of those, that whole area was filled up. We cleaned all of that out. That's what's in the bins. It was some paint and watercolors and things of that nature. We filled this bin up. some teachers, some student work that I want to keep. Uh, it's just a lot. Some light boxes. And um, <laughs> I really don't know exactly how I'm going to do everything myself. But I am going to take you along for the journey. And we'll, I will see what's going to happen together. Let's see. I meant to say something else. I just thought about it. I've got like a lot of these like little containers, like this stuff, office supply stuff. This, this. I like teal and pink, if you couldn't tell. And um, like these things over here that um, stuff like this here, this. I've got to pack all that stuff up. Hey, you know, would you believe my student made this for me out of wood? I was so amazed. Well, that's what we got so far. That's what we're working with. Well, I did clean out some of my drawers. That's why everything is like out, like drawers. Cleaned out some of the drawers and stuff like that. So, you guys see my little area? I got a little microwave, refrigerator, that's an air fryer, a fan, and a coffee maker. My students said, You got a little kitchen back there, but it's really many, many stuff. Now, if you see it, here's my hand. That's many. But it works for me. I only need a little bit of stuff. Bring something from home. You don't want to microwave it. You put in that little air fryer. And it really does the job. Anyway. Um, just been here so long. This floor <laughs> in here. My nephews put this floor down. One of my nephews passed away in 2016. It's just a lot of memories in this room. In this school period. <laughs> period so I will take you along for the ride and I just went down memory lane with you <laughs> uh, I will take you along for the ride and let me flip it around so I'm going to take you along for the ride and we're going to get it done I'm going to take you along so you can see everything and how it gets done so in case you ever have to do this or you just looking at it for enjoyment pray for me because this is a lot all right bye